Hey guys, I'm Amrat and now we will take a look at roads. Why roads be before grass? Well, here's a simple and quick explanation. When we are in World of Warcraft, the map is divided into these chunks, these red squares. When you control and click on one of them in 3D paint mode, you will get a list of textures used on the chunk. And as you can see, probably, there are only 4 slots for texture. And no, this won't just expand or something like that. These are actually just 4 slots and you can't have 5 different textures on one chunk. Well, what does it mean? That if you have all those 4 textures filled, you can't simply paint there with 5th texture. So if we so assume that we that you are in this situation, you create rocks, you create uh, cliffs and so on. So we've got already uh, dirt texture and rock texture. Now we have painted uh, grass around as well. So let's just assume that we have painted grass, for example, for example here. And now. It's very good to use multiple textures for grass, like uh, some flowers or something interesting to just make that grass a little bit, you know, more fancy, more well looking, more good looking. So let's just use some another grass, just you know, very quick, simple style. And now we are out of textures. We got all four textures used, and now we don't have space for our road. So let's say that we will use this road I prepared here. This is just some sort of random road texture. And as you can see, this version of Nugget is already marking those two chunks as filled, and I can't use this texture here. I can't paint it here into this chunk. And I'm pretty much screwed. Uh, so it's always better to First, create well outlines, create rocks, even paint grass around those rocks, and then paint uh, your roads. Because if you paint the roads first before you actually do, before you actually make grass, you then can go and check which chunks still have at least one texture free, and then you can apply a second layer of grass. Because you don't need to use two grass textures, at least not everywhere, but uh, it's but you really need to use your road. Okay, you can't just have chunks without without road. That's impossible. Or you can make only road only of dirt, but that doesn't work out very well if you have some sort of highway. Another thing you can do is trying to avoid uh, chunks where rock texture are, because in that case, let's say we've got here chunk where no rock will be, so we've got dirt texture, we would have two uh, grass textures, and then we've got still space for our road, that's okay. But around mountains, uh, this can get a little bit more tricky. So that's why I would advise you to start building roads first, before you actually go to grass. Now, let's get to road building itself. So, let's assume that we've got just dirt, okay, let's just delete this texture here. I will swap it and to get rid of it. Okay. Okay, so we've got no second grass here. We've got only our dirt, our rock, our grass and now we will use road, uh, not uh, second grass. And let's start painting some roads. So the first thing I would always advise you to do is creating outlines. So let's just use small brush. You don't even have to use too big pressure and just make uh, this sort of lines where your roads will be. Okay. So just mark where your roads will be and you can just spawn your buildings around them and base your spawns in it and so on and so forth. So now I'm really making just a sketch of my road system, I shall say, or my road network. And when I've got this, I have the slot for this road texture already filled in. So 
and so no second grass texture will take it from away from me okay it's the first thing to do and then you can even start picking grass or you can just uh, proceed with uh, making your actual road so how to make a road well you can either use just small brush and create this sort of road like it was made by wheels by the way this sort of road isn't very historically accurate because uh, back in the day uh, those roads like this are really made by cars they aren't made by horses or carts okay so this is um, this isn't a very historical accurate road but i i would guess i would say it looks okay so you can just paint the road like this and then you would just move to grass and paint grass between those two lines and so on so this is quite a cool effect i would say but yeah well this works out somehow and can be quite cool because you don't see such roads in World of Warcraft very often. But another a little bit more traditional way is just making a road without any such parallels or whatever we would call it. Well, there are again two ways. You can either use spray or uh, not use spray. Well, spray has been introduced in beta version of Nogit. If you are using SDO 1.4, you don't have spray at all. So if you don't want to use spray or if you don't have spray, you can always just use small brush and just make some sort of flakes everywhere, just random flakes everywhere. You are just making flakes like this. Okay. And then we would use bigger brush actually, but we would just get much lower pressure and now we will just paint over that sort of flaky road and now we got our road done basically now we will just paint grass around it if you were watching my advanced rocks and cliffs tutorial you can use uh, opacity tricks here as well so we can lower our opacity and we can even paint with our grass over the road a little bit to make it kind of mossy and ancient and so on so it doesn't so it isn't so shiny make transitions between uh, road and grass so less harsh let's say that's less sharp you can do this as well and a uh, quite important step is rising terrain around. I will just finish grass here to make it a little bit more visible for you. Let's just paint grass here. This is quite flat, so I will rise that grass. Okay, I <laughs> don't want that brush speed. Sorry about that. I just rise this grass here and polish it, blur it, and we would do the same on the second side as well. And now that road can get a little bit, you know, edgy. As you can see here, I can polish it, sure, but. What I tend to do and what I or prefer to do is flattening too, because well, flattening the road because as people are passing over that road, uh, they are flattening it basically. So every road should really be flat. It can be angled like uh, going up to the hill or down the hill, but it shouldn't really be angled like this. Your roads shouldn't be looking like this. This is just weird, this doesn't work, this this isn't the, what the road looks like. So try to keep your roads flat or angled just in, in well, in correct direction. So I will flatten my road and I will blur it 
to well when you just flatten your road you will get such uh, sharp points and edges around so we will want to blur it to polish it a little bit and this is what the road looks like I think that it looks quite nice that this quite works out just make sure that your road is nice and straight and another thing when we are talking about straightness well don't uh, never ever make roads like this I've seen it many times don't do this please don't draw roads like this but just with one big brush it looks absolutely horrible make something like this and another thing don't make straight roads don't do this okay this just looks strange uh, make roads you know a little bit like like this so they aren't perfectly straight perfectly straight road looks really weird especially in the world of warfare and to give some to give to players some reasons why is road look, looking like this you can uh, spawn or create rocks around it and uh, spawn trees here which are in the way so that's why road is looking like this okay this looks just much more interesting than simply this another way of creating road is by using a spray so just a quick example we can use spray spray size around 170 approximately okay okay 180 is all right as well but just lower pressure a little bit and this pressure as well and you can use spray from for creating your roads as well this can come in quite handy especially if you are creating uh, more wide roads if you want to create your wide roads like this or even wider if you want to create your huge roads uh, this spray tool is just awesome for doing so So you can toy around a little bit with your settings of your spray and create something like this. And then you can even toggle spray off and lower pressure and do the same as uh, I was creating before with previous style of road. Just lighten up the middle of your road a little bit. And you can use spray even for your grass. So let's move back to grass and let's move to back to spray. So these are the ways of doing roads, basically. Just please, guys, don't do this. Don't do this. Please avoid this as much as you can. And that's pretty much it. So just to sum it up, create roads before you create the grass, or at least use only one texture of grass and don't use any sort of you know any sort of these flowers or another textures before applying your roads because then you will just get fucked up by not having uh, free free slots for your own texture that's pretty much it that's everything what I wanted to show you in this video so thanks for watching guys and happy modding